Okay, hi everybody, it's Laura with Refund Junk. We're going to do a live video here because I'm totally excited that we finally have metallics. Been waiting forever. We've got three colors. We have a gold, we have a silver, and we have a pearl. So what we're going to do with is play a little bit today with the metallics, show you what they do, although it's kind of tricky because the lighting kind of makes it hard. You really have to see them in person, which means you really need to order them. But we're going to play with a picture frame. Got a picture frame at Goodwill. Bonked the inside out. And first thing we did was, I did the rest of it so you didn't have to watch the whole time. That looks lovely, do not it? Um, first thing you're going to do is paint it. And we chose Seaside to play around with because I think all of the glaze colors look pretty over the Seaside. So that's what you're going to do is, um, after you prep of course, which is our step one, you're going to take the prep, spray it on, let it sit for a few minutes, and then wipe it off with a rag. That helps the paint it here. We already did that to the whole frame, so I skipped that step on the video here, but then you're just going to paint it. Um, we don't use fancy brushes as you can see, and that's all there is to that. Once you have it painted, then we're going to play around with the metallics. So, um, first we're going to do, first we're going to do pearl because it's my favorite so far. I haven't had a lot, a lot of time to play with them, but I really like the pearl. And you're going to take, you can work it several ways. What we're going to do for this is just take a tiny brush and we're going to accent. My son Matthew's doing the video and he's doing a great job. Mm. Um, he is say hi Matthew. Hi. And so you're just going to add a little accent to wherever you want. We're going to highlight this carved area with the pearls. So we're going to just brush it on here. The other thing you can do with ours that's really fun that I like is if you don't want to just accent, because so you can put on the carved detail, but you can also bring it in right here and have, can you see anything with the lighting matter? Is it just totally? Yeah, that's good. I'll hold it up in just a second. We'll see if that changes things. <laughs> so you've got just a little bit of a shine going on there. Can you see a little bit of a sheen? Does that help when I hold it up? Yeah, I think so, yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, the, ooh, pretty. Okay, so you have a little bit of a shine going on there. So there's the pearl. Um, but what I was going to say about the glaze, I'll show you with the silver when we start doing the silver. So there's the pearl. The other one we've got is a gold. Gold is, we're going to put the gold right next to that so you can see the difference. Now, if I feel like I've got a little bit too much on there, or if I've got it in places where I don't want it, you can erase with your finger, which I'm doing, or if you have a manicure and a wife and don't want to get your hands dirty, you get a little bit of a damp rag. There, take it off in the areas I don't want it, and I can also lighten it. See how it's squished into the carved detail? Look how much prettier that is. Pretty. And again, you can also just use it over flat areas. It doesn't have to be over carved detail. Okay, then the third color we've got, okay, let me hold this gold up. Make it, ooh, you can see them both, right? Mm -hmm. Or is it just me? Can I, I'll be able to see them? Can you see, can you see good? All right. And then the last color we have is the silver, which is also really pretty. It's not a real bright silver, real, but it's real soft and pretty. And there is the silver. And what I was going to show you that you can also do. I got a rag that's dirty, so. There it is pushed into the cracks. But they act like a glaze, too. So you can put them on an area like this. And they're thin and see through. See how, see how pretty that is? Can you see there? Is that. Can you see in the light? Do I need to stand a different spot? Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, that should be well. Can you see it? Okay. Ooh, is that a good spot? Should I go with the golden pearl too? <laughs> is that good light? Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> okay, so they're fabulous. Then real quick, the other thing I've started playing with is you can layer them. I put the pearl over the gold the other day. That was real pretty. Can you dry brush the details? Um, is that a question we got on there? That is. Can you dry brush the details? Like, well, that's what, my brush is dry. So, yes, if I had... That's what I'm kind of doing here. You don't have to squish it in. If I had, I probably would need a bigger brush and a little less on there. 
Um, let me do the gold because it's going to show up more. Yes, you, the answer to the question is yes. you got to play with it, but I'm getting most of mine off now. There, can you see it picking up a little bit? I'm going real soft and gentle here, and you could go with more. Mm -hmm. Is that working there? Yeah, you and my Okay, and I've painted this frame. What you don't know is I've painted this frame about six times, so the carved detail is not what it used to be because <laughs> the paint is raised up almost level with the carved detail, but yeah, you totally could. See the mm -hmm. difference between here, where I kind of rubbed it in and smushed it in? and then here where I just brushed over the top of it to highlight it. So yes, you totally can. I think that's one of the things that'll be the funnest about it when we start you know, using it and playing with it. So, all right. And so would you wipe that part off to use as a glaze or just leave? The part on the silver where I did it, that totally again is what you like the look of. I feel like here I did a pretty phenomenal job of getting rid of any of the brush strokes and I like it. If there were brush strokes or if there was too much, if I had applied too much or if I wanted an even softer look, you can go in and wipe it off. So you can see a difference there already. It's kind of, there's more glaze on the sides because I wiped down the middle. I can still remove it, it hadn't totally set yet. So you've got some time to play with it. There's a glaze component to the um, metallics so that you've got some time to play with it because you don't always want it stuck right where you initially put it. So another great question. All right, Holly, here's another question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so last thing I'm gonna show you is what we were gonna do is turn this into a bulletin board. And this is my um, cheat for doing a bulletin board because cork is expensive and in my opinion, really hard to work with and even harder to stick a bush pin in because it's cork and it's really hard. So this is my favorite sheet, a sheet of insulation. You can get a huge sheet of insulation at Home Depot, way too big to fit in your car um, for nothing. Measure the inside of your frame. All you gotta do then, after you've measured it, and I just draw on mine with an ink pen, I've already got mine cut, is I'll just score it with the razor blade. And then snap it, way easy to do. And then I cover it with um, whatever fabric I want. This one looks really pretty with the seaside. And normally if I cut it right, all I have to do is, look how fancy. I did not have my staple gun, so I've resorted to packing tape, but it works. And then when you push it in, You've got enough resistance. If I'm doing it um, and I really need it to stay in really good, you can just put little screws in right in here that'll hold it in from the insulation into the side. But ta-da! Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Way cheaper than cork. Way quicker. And um, we could not find a, a thumbtack to demo with or a push pin. So Matthew found a screw, we have plenty of those, <laughs> which does indeed work. So we're going to show you that the bulletin board does work. So even with a screw, you can hang something on the bulletin board. So that's our little demo for today. Metallics are out. If you are not near Woodstock Market, which we'll have them there tomorrow, and you're near another retailer in another city, call them, find out if they have metallics. If they don't, find out why. I'm just kidding. Um, but they should be coming to a location near you really, really soon. We are so excited to have them, and thanks for watching the video. Have a great night. Okay. Um, I'm not trying to make it not live. No, I seem stupid.